<laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Osoro knows very well that I, I am an IT whiz kid. So there's no way I don't know what was going on that day. And Honorable Speaker, I just want to give my remarks in terms of a scorecard. A scorecard of 90 to 10, where 10 percent means what went well and 90 percent what did not go well with the president's speech. Number one, and I think the Honorable Osoro preempted what I was about to say, is that there was a trending video of, a, of my CII chair, the Honorable John Kiari, talking about how well the, the president was conversant with the teleprompter. And I just want to say, I will give him five marks for that, because by using the teleprompter and not using papers to speak, the president actually saved half a tree. So five marks to that. Honorable Speaker, the president spoke about the bottom-up agenda. And the other five marks I want to allocate to that, because it is true, Honorable Speaker, our taxes have moved from bottom to up. The Kenya shilling has moved from bottom to up. Cost of living has moved from bottom to up. So the president is very right that he is focused on his bottom-up agenda. And that I give five marks. Honorable Speaker, for my 90% of what did not go well in that speech, number one, I was expecting to hear a lot about the macroeconomic issues we are having in this country right now. Our inflation is, is at a bad rate. The central bank-based lending rate is doing extremely badly. And I really, really wanted the president to give us a clear picture of that because numbers never lie. Honorable Speaker, on the cost of living, and this is a cause of worry for all of us, including those of us who want to vie in 2027, because you're going to have extremely tough conversations with Kenyans, expressing and explaining how you think cost of living is doing well. Honorable Speaker, the other day I was at an eatery, and I went to the washrooms, and there were some young ladies there who were seated, and if I may quote what they were saying, unajua iserikali tunaogopa kwa sababu hata sisi wale tunaosha cho wanaweza kuja waanze kututax. That is the kind of conversation that is going on out there. Kenyans are worried. Things are not looking good. Things are bad. And we need to stop painting this rosy picture of giving people hope like this is a Mexican soap. It is not a Mexican soap. Things are bad in this country. Honorable Speaker, the other day, we were even being told that now a young person who has just turned 18, instead of spending 200 shillings, they will spend 1,000 shillings to get an ID. I just want to tell the honorable members that come 2027, because now they are saying IDs will cost 2,000, the people who are going to vote for you, they will all say their IDs are lost so that you give them 2,000 shillings to get new IDs. You're not seeing the arm of what this is going to do to us. Honorable Speaker, in terms of the tangible results that were shared here and the state of the economy, this economy of ours, Honorable Speaker, and I just want to refer back to the third paragraph of the President's state, uh, state, uh, presidential uh, State of the Nation address, where he said that he undertook to ensure, immediately after his, uh, his being sworn in, he undertook to ensure urgent transformation of our economy. But Honorable Speaker, the state of the economy in this country, it is actually falling faster than my mammary glands. That is how bad things are in this country. And we just need to put things into perspective. We need to tell Kenyans the truth. And I just want to say we cannot be having a, a speech of one hour and six minutes just giving us hope and not telling us the true state of our country. Honorable Speaker, we live in a country where right now our international airport is, is leaking water. And I saw a, 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 a Twitter fight between the, the, the Honorable Senator Cherange and the CS Murkomen. It has become a state where the children of Kenya Kwanzaa government are eating each other, literally. Why are you going to social media to tell us about the bad issues What's that are out going of order, on? Honorable Soro? Uh, Honorable Speaker, is it really in order for Honorable Irene Mayaka to mention people who are not in this house? You know, and they can't really defend themselves. And also to lie to the public that without really without substantiating the fact that uh, the JKIA is leaking. I mean, really, we, which part is leaking? The JKIA is so massive, it's so big. I mean, we, I, she's confusing her house, Honorable Speaker, with the JKIA. I, I really. Honorable Chief, Honorable Soro, I will leave that to be a point of debate. 
And uh, what I would guide you on Abumayaka is not to mention a senator because it's against the standing orders without a, uh, without a motion. But the rest of the issues raised by Honorable Osoro are, are snippets of debate. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker will withdraw mentioning uh, uh, specific names. But I just want to lay the facts as it is. Honorable Osoro, the, the international departure of our country. The other day there was a video trending of where it was leaking, where passengers actually put in their luggage to be, to be measured. And I just want to tell you, Honorable Osoro, that my house has no issues. It's just that I cannot invite you there. But I just want to tell you, my house is not leaking. What is leaking is the government of Kenya. It is leaking because there are issues and you need to start addressing the issues and not look at personalities. And Honorable Speaker, as I finish so that I can, uh, I can donate the rest of the time, I just want to say this, that 10 years ago, we had a very high intake of treasury bonds and treasury bills in this country. Right now, we don't even have Kenyans investing in that space. And we need to be very concerned as a country because that is one of the avenues of the government being able to actually um, raise funds and they cannot do it even from local uh, uh, investors. And even worse, Honorable Speaker, is that the central bank has gone to the extent of allowing the commercial banks to be able to have the depository accounts so as to encourage more Kenyans to trade in this space, but it's not happening. So things are bad, Honorable Speaker. And as I said, we need to take care of these issues so that our economy can stop falling, falling as fast as our mammary glands. I thank you. I don't want to ask which exactly glands like Honorable Chan is asking, but I'll give the next chance. Of course, your time is up, Honorable Mayaka. It's not donation. You have actually exhausted your time. Member for SACU, Honorable Dido Raso. We'll take the next chance. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I wish to add my voice uh, to this debate on the President's address to the nation. Uh, I would consider it in terms of constitutionalism, uh, democratic accountability, and governance. Honorable Speaker, we have lived in this country long enough to understand what actually is really going on. This is the first president who is telling Kenyans that this is what I am doing. And this is a clear glass. Look at me and judge me with what I am doing. I think it's a rare thing. We have also uh, seen the last government. What they were really doing was there was a lot of opaqueness. Many of us, we were in this house, and we actually didn't.